recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome back to a brand new life after Navy. And I decided to change some things up here. Um, one of the things I decided to change up is my little outfit here. Um, I'm wearing my uh, Navy PT Smurfs hoodie as well as my command ball cap uh, just to change some things up with the presentation of the Life After Navy series. And uh, let me know what you all think in the comments down below in the boopity boops. Um, maybe I look like a complete goof. I don't know. It's like 4.30 in the morning when I'm recording this. I just wanted to do a video response to my boy JT Suits. What up, fam? And talk about some of my struggles since leaving the U.S. Navy in 2015. So, one of the main struggles I had to deal with, you know, when I first got out was the huge mental shift in just the way things are done. Because not only was I getting out of the Navy and going back to civilian life, you know, the whole thing was threefold for me. Not only was I coming back to American life after having been, been stationed in Japan for over two years, I was coming back to civilian life after having been in the Navy for over five years, and I was coming back to college life, which I haven't been in in nearly a decade since my last, you know, round in college ended in 2007. So there was a lot of changes for me in a very short amount of time. And that was really hard for me to deal with in short order because I had to really have all my shit together and lined up. And I'm just like, uh, uh, you know, I didn't do very well for my first year. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I originally chose a major that I didn't really like. I didn't do very well with it. So I decided to switch majors. And since then, things have been going a lot smoother but it's still a struggle because I still have to rebuild after basically fucking up my GPA something fierce. That's been a struggle that I've been dealing with for the past couple semesters. Uh, but my main one is financial. Even though I do get paid, you know, BAH, it does help pay the rent here in addition to my other expenses and stuff like that, you know, gas and whatever, insurance, stuff like that. Um, it doesn't cover everything and it's also prorated for the days that school's in session so let's say full uh, month's worth of school in February and you get paid the full BH great awesome things are able to uh, to go smoothly but for January and February especially because those are the months that uh, winter break is accounted for because it's accounted for the month previous so January and February are actually being accounted for uh, December and January, uh, BAH-wise. So because winter break falls on those months, it does, you know, very severely affect the amount that I get from BAH. I have to compensate for that by working extra hours that I could be instead devoting towards doing homework, uh, studying for quizzes, doing quizzes, stuff like that. And it just kind of is what it is, you know? Yeah, I did have a lot of money saved up uh, when I did eventually get out, but it was hard for me to find a job when I first got out because I got out and went back to school in the dead of winter when nobody was hiring, and I wasn't able to get a job for several months, and uh, by that point, my savings had pretty much dwindled, and it was very rough for me. Things I'm going to be dealing with now, moving forward, is uh, moving to a cheaper apartment, Obviously cutting back on expenses as much as I can. I mean, there's not much else expense-wise I can cut back on. You know, maybe, you know, some other miscellaneous expenses and stuff like that. Cutting back on, you know, eating out so much, that's gonna be one of my main things moving forward once I move to the new place is cutting back on eating out. Not just for, you know, to lose the double chin, but to also help me save money. Learning to eat in more <laughs> instead of eating out. You know, also doing uh, editing gigs for YouTube to help bring in more money so I don't have to, you know, make money just by flipping burgers and whatever else. You know, I can do it by doing something that I love to do, which is YouTube. So, you know, it's all about money in, money out. So if you bring more money in than you're putting out, then you'll be able to save. You know, it's very simple math. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm getting kind of tired, and I gotta get to going to bed soon so I can get up and go to a escuela and do other things. But I just wanted to check in here and uh, do a quick little Life After Navy episode. And uh, before I go, 
I just want to ask you guys a question. For those of you who have gotten out, let me know in the comments down below, in the boopy de boops what some of your struggles were when you first got out. Or on the flip side, what were some of your successes and what are some of the things that, you know, you were kind of thinking, you know, oh, it's gonna be super hard to do this when I get out, but when you actually did get out, it was actually super easy. What are some of the things that you struggled with or had success with? And what do you think led to those uh, successes? Just let me know in the comments down below in the boopy de boops and uh, we'll keep the conversation going. But for now, this is the Andy Sign signing off for now. <laughs> and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>